Hello everyone, welcome to this webinar where we'll be just having a quick look at curtain walls within Revit and ways in which we can select the elements that describe the curtain wall. First of all, note that we've got a building here that has three curtain walls that were modeled in arcs that approximate a sort of spline curve. It's important to realize that because curtain walls will only be shaped within arcs, not splines. The first thing that happens usually when guys are trying to select a curtain wall is they might have the selection tool over here switched to by edge. And this makes selecting the edge or the actual curtain wall rather tricky. In this case, it's not too difficult. There is the curtain wall. We can see it by the dash blue line. But it's also very easy to make a mistake and to click one of the other elements. And it's not the most efficient way to select that curtain wall. Whenever you deal with a flat surface within Revit, or in this case, the curtain wall, which is composed of panels, and the panels represent the individual panes that you see on that curtain wall. These are usually set within the type properties. There you can see them. The type of panel that is contained. In this case, there's no specific panel that's been indicated, but you also have the default that's being applied in this case, which is the curtain panel. And then there's some sort of layout it will automatically create grid lines. That's common for storefront and for facades. Otherwise, you would have to place those grid lines manually. So if it's a custom window, then you can do that as well. However, if you switch out to get to the selection of the curtain wall, if you select out to select by face, it really is as easy as just clicking on one of the panels from where you can see it. And immediately, you'll see that it selects the curtain wall. Not only that, but tabbing onto the panel is then just as easy. And individual panels may be switched out, maybe some louvers. Some people use materials to just graphically present the type of panel that it, uh, that it contains. Or it might be something like a door or a window that's supposed to be within a curtain wall. So that is important. Remember to select by face. Click on it once. That is the curtain wall tab onto the panel and there is the actual panel. Now there's some nice tools that they've incorporated into Revit. The one is how do you select all the panels in a curtain wall? Maybe you just want to switch them out quickly. Select the curtain wall, click once on the flat face to select the curtain wall and then right click. Your right mouse click menu brings up some selection tools where for instance you can select all the panels on the host. So at one click, you can select all of the panels that are contained within that wall. You may even want to change the orientation of the wall. In other words, in which sense is it facing? In this case, you can see that the exterior of the wall is always indicated by this flip sign. So if I want to face it towards the inside of the building, then I'll flip the wall and I can flip it back. But you can also do so. You don't need to enter a plan view if you can see this. You can just click on that curtain wall, right click and say change the wall's orientation. And that will automatically then flip that wall. Let's flip it back in plan view. So that's with regards to the panels. It's easy to select all of them or one of them. Then how about the mullions? As we can see, we also have some mullion selecting tools. We, we can select all the mullions on the vertical grids. Or we can select all the mullions on horizontal grids. And you'll see it excludes the border. If you switch the mullions out, then that's quite easy. Or you can select all the mullions on the inside. So all the non-border mullions. 
then there's also the option to select all the border mullions or just all the mullions on the host but that's not where it ends we've got even more tools were you to select a single mullion and right click you can now select mullions on the grid line so every mullion that's on that specific grid line that you can see everything in line with it you may select all the mullions across the grid line so however many you have selected in this case one so if I right click and I say select mullions across grid line then it goes from this grid line and across so if they're on the same level horizontally there and if I go in the other direction select all the mullions across the grid line there you can see them going down and then as usual there are the other on vertical grid etc and that's great and then on the join conditions you can make them join continuous or at break just another note on the mullions how to set the join conditions more easily for the type is you can go to the join conditions over there and you can say that you automatically want to make the border and the vertical grid continuous that's typical so in essence it's not such a difficult thing to select elements on the curtain walls so long as you use your right mouse click and select the, the, the mullions in an intelligent fashion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this small demonstration and that you can use these selection tools to your advantage when you are working with curtain walls. Until next time, enjoy Revit and remember if you need assistance please call Micrographics so that we may be of assistance.